Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we'll be decorating for fall and I'm so excited. I have a couple different looks and uh, this first look is uh, more traditional in the colors and I usually don't ever decorate with orange but I really just loved these picks from Hobby Lobby and they have like a nice rusty orange effect and some greenery on it too so it's not fully orange. Um, like I always do more of a neutral fall palette but when I saw these stems, I just really loved them and I thought they'd be great in our entryway. And you may also notice that artwork is new over the entryway table and I am loving it. However, I did go ahead and order a mirror to put over this table. This artwork, I actually found it on Amazon and I'll link it below if you're interested. I did share this on Instagram and I had a few people who messaged me asking me where I got it from. So I'll go ahead and share a link below in case you're interested in it. Um, right now, I'm just going to fluff out these branches and I'm going to uh, make it look whimsy. I love having a big statement piece here on the entryway table and I love how this turns out. going to move to the left side of the arrangement and I'm going to be putting these taper candle holders from Kirkland's this season here. I love these. They have this like etched gold metal detail on them and I'm trying to keep this entryway simple because I'm incorporating color which I usually don't incorporate such a strong color. So I'm curious what do you prefer for decorating for fall? Do you go for the bold oranges and rust or do you tend to be more neutral? In the rest of my house, I did a totally different look, but it still works because the entryway is kind of separated from the other spaces, but I'm loving this and I put this geode here because I think it works for fall. It's natural looking and the colors are in the right family. Now I'm going to go ahead and incorporate some of these gold palm leaves that I got actually at Christmas time last year on the clearance at Michael's. I saw those and I was like, I could totally use those for fall because I love incorporating metal into my decor and gold works so well for fall. And then I'm also putting in this velvet pumpkin that's actually from the Dollar Tree. It's $5 and then another geode here. And that will complete the look for the entryway. To the dining room and if you follow me over on Instagram you saw this week that I posted I redid this uh, cabinet that we got on Amazon it's a corner cabinet and I'll show you when I'm finished styling this space but you should definitely follow me over on Instagram I share more behind the scenes and just what's going on daily in my life I do a lot of my stories I post reels so follow me over there at Mrs. Caitlin Hunter I'll put a link below if you are interested and you can introduce yourself to me over there and I would love to get to know you and chat and we could tag each other and things. I talked to a few of you over there and I really enjoy it. So here in the corner, I've got that Hobby Lobby vase that they have currently. It's very distressed and I love it. And then these purple maple leaves are actually from A Floral and I can link those below as well. They are so whimsy and I love how they um, spray out of the vase. But I'm going to go ahead and add some other picks to this arrangement because it's just too dark for how early it is in the season. So I found these nude, um, beigey looking roses at Joann's and I actually ordered some of these too on A Floral. So these are the ones from A Floral actually, but they actually have these at Hobby Lobby. I've seen them and at Joann's for sure. 
And I'm also gonna be adding in some of these ficus branches there from Hobby Lobby. They are $3.99 per stem. This is actually a cut up one. And um, I don't know, 40% off, 50% off, it's a great deal. And you can use them a lot in fillers for any arrangement you do. I love how they are just kind of like flat, but they uh, spray out really well. And it's just a good mixture for this space. Like I said, it's a good pre-fall. The purple was too dark on its own. And I'm really loving these taupey beige roses. I'm using them throughout in the rest of my decor. And you'll see that here in a second. Comment below and let me know what you think about this look for fall. Now I'm going to go ahead and flank this vase with an urn with some of these German Tatisse bundles. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby in the dried floral section and I love dried florals for fall. They add great texture and the colors are just right. And I'm going to go ahead and add this marble tray and then I'm going to flank it or I'm going to on top of it I'm going to put this goddess Nike statue that I got on Amazon and I just love that statue. <music> So this is the cabinet I was talking about that I made over from Amazon. I added these knobs to it. Those are cool. They're from Amazon as well. And um, I love the crystals in them. And then these feet are also from Amazon. They're gold. And then the backing on those doors, I added that into. It's like a mercury glass technique that I've shared before on this channel. So yeah, I just made it my own. <music> Now we are moving over into the dining room table and we're going to go ahead and do a fun tablescape here. Nothing too crazy. Um, I probably will only have this up for like a week and then I'm going to already start decorating for Halloween. And as I'm doing this, I'm thinking so much about Halloween. I'm going to do like a video where I just do like four different tablescapes because I have so many ideas. Um, I have a big haul coming for Halloween to show you guys. This year I didn't spend too much on fall decor because I wanted to focus on Halloween more. I just have so much more fun with that and it's more my aesthetic. And um, I am so excited. So if you're new here, I am Caitlin and I love to do all things decorating, both seasonal and year round. I'd love it if you would subscribe. Um, I have so much fun content coming. I go crazy for Halloween. If you haven't already, you should definitely check out my playlist for Halloween from last year. I've got so many more ideas for this year and I'm just, I can't even explain how excited I am for that. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that content. Also, I have fun for Christmas and I do, after Halloween, I end up doing like a tablescape for uh, Thanksgiving and some a little more fall stuff after Halloween, but this is mainly going to be my fall video and um, I'm moving on to Halloween next. <laughs> So the table runner is from Amazon. I'll link it below if you're interested. Um, what I'm essentially trying to do here is just make a little pumpkin patch, a pumpkin gathering in the center of the table. I've got that one um, heirloom looking pumpkin that's from at home. And then these other ones are from Amazon, just a bunch of white pumpkins. And I have layered in some of that um, ficus, that green ficus that I have in the vase in the corner. And the uh, burgundy purpley, uh, Thistle is from Joann's and I'm adding that in to also bring in those purple maple leaves that I have in the corner there. I'm just trying to make it all work together and make sense. I'm adding in another one of those beautiful roses um, that's taupe from Joann's. I really love this look. So I added in these taper candle holders with those um, Amazon candlesticks that are battery powered but look pretty realistic and I just did my set of three candlesticks and um, I have them flanking this tablescape.
So I just placed those gold acorns from Target this year and I'm showing you a place setting that I would do. I'm not setting a full table, but I put a gold charger, that um, glass plate with the silver rim and some more of that ficus leaf and that stone um, pumpkin that is from Hobby Lobby. It's got a gold stem. I love it. Um, I think Dollar Tree has a version of it, but you could tell it's a lot cheaper. So that is a tablescape, guys. Let me know what you think. Okay, that is going to be it for this video. I did want to do all my fall decorating in this one video, but I realized the video is just going to be way too long. So I'm going to break it up into two parts. The second part will be out here really shortly because I already have it filmed. I just need to edit it. Um, let me know what you guys like. That you're like, oh, she's crazy for putting that out for my fall decor so far. I look forward to sharing the kitchen and the living room with you in the next video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Mm -hmm.